Hi, snowstorming presents op overprinting in InDesign. InDesign overprint default is 100% black. Most of the time you want to overprint, but sometimes you don't. In the case of large areas of black, your final image looks better knocked out. The best way to do this is to make the fill 99% black and add a 100% black small stroke to the outside that overprints. What I want to do is I want to show you the difference between the overprinting, how it looks on the screen, and how it's going to print. So I want you to pull up the separations preview and the attributes. It's under window, output, at, output, attributes, and separations preview. So we have both of these open. We're going to turn the separations on. And now you can see what happens with the overprint. This part of the black is going to be printing at 223% ink colors, which is made up of cyan, over here, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, which is four colors. Although this isn't really a, a, a bad overprint issue, most of the time something like this looks just fine. But if you've got something really dark behind it, and then you put black over, and you end up with like 400% over here in your colors, you got way too much ink on the page. And when you have too much ink on the page, it offsets on the page in front of it or behind it. So that's one of the reasons why you don't want to have the ink be too dark. It also, when it overprints the red over here, instead of it just being black, it's 100 magenta, 100 yellow, 100 black. So to fix this, what I do is I go up under my color patch swatches, or your color, it doesn't have to be the swatch, and just change it to 99. And now it doesn't overprint. And then one of the reasons why we do this is because if we have small type, like anything like below 10, 10 point type, the registration can be really tough over, over black, black that's not black, it's more like black, magenta, cyan, and yellow. So it doesn't always register so well. So that's one of the reasons why you check that. The next thing I want to talk about is text that somebody has turned to outline. I love turning text to outlines, but sometimes it doesn't work out like you plan. But the secret to not overprinting is to turn your type to cyan or magenta and then create outlines, or you can check the attributes and unclick overprint. Either way works. So we're going to duplicate our words here. We're going to turn them to create outlines under type, and we're going to look at what it was before. Yeah, I'll look at this one. See, nothing that doesn't say anything about overprinting, but as soon as you converted it, it now it says overprint fill. If you don't have that turned on, you probably you're not going to know that that did that. So you're going to change. Say, all right, you got that done. So you want to change it to yellow, and it still says overprint. So when I put the yellow over the top of the red, it completely disappears. And if it goes to the printer like that and they get a red box back and they're like, well, what happened to my type? You're like, well, I don't know. I didn't see it. So, and then sometimes you could put it over the top of blue or cyan and it turns out to be green and that doesn't look right either. So you, you have to have the wherewithal to, to know that the attributes, can, you can just go in and turn off the overprint fill to fix it. So what you see is not always what you get. So here's your, your uh, answer to not having overprinted text. Thank you. Bye.